I think you guys are going to stay afterwards because I know other people have questions for you. That's very interesting. Isn't it bowling if they're yes, 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 and I'm no, no, no? <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut the What's Hot on YouTube segment short. We're just going to show the first two videos. Um, they're very short. I think they're a minute to two minutes, and this is a good classic case of bowling. We're going to show Harry Reid's thoughts on the Tea Party, and then we're going to talk about what an establishment Republican thinks. Go ahead. We're not going to bow to Tea Party anarchists who deny the mere fact that Obama is or the Obamacare is the law. We will not bow to Tea Party anarchists who refuse to accept the Supreme Court rule of Obamacare to be constitutional. The simple fact remains, Obamacare is the law of the land and will remain the law of the land as long as Barack Obama is President of the United States and as long as I'm Senate Majority Leader. America will know exactly who to blame. Republicans fanatics in the House and the Senate. This film and release style just says getting the attention of the American people in a positive tone. If Democrats don't bow to every demand they have, they want to go right over the cliff. But we're not going to go with them. Who has the power of the purse? The House of Representatives. And who has more people in Congress? Okay, now. Party sold us out. Well, they should be on our side, Dan. They should be. But let me show you what one of our establishment people in the Republican Party thinks. But Connie, what do you do to bring the Republican Party together? Because right now you know that all the polls are blaming Republicans for this shutdown. And it looks as if it's just all about the infighting instead of what many believe we should be talking about today, which is Obamacare not working. No, in fact, it, that's right, and that's Ted Cruz's fault. Ted Cruz went us down this path. This was a disaster from the start. I could have predicted this, and this is what the leadership predicted three weeks ago, when, we, when they said they would never have pursued defunding because it was going to work against us and we'd be blamed. But Ted Cruz insisted that his people follow him, and we did it, and that's why we're in this position. It's his fault, and he wants us to get him out of it. Listen, I, I'm saying the president should negotiate, but I'm saying this was caused by Ted Cruz and his acolytes in the House of Representatives. They led us down this dead-end street, and that's why it, Wall Street Journal, Carl Rove, Tom Cogler, all solid conservatives, said this was a terrible policy. <laughs> <beginning. laughs> <laughs> right. The Republicans say, say, say it's the dopiest idea they've ever heard of. Ted Cruz is to blame, and those in the House who stand with him have brought about this train wreck. It's up to us to try to get it out, and it's up to the President to step in and stop standing on this. And we have two Republicans that kind of fall into this fold here. <laughs> Eric Paulson in Con Congressional District 3 and John Klein in Congressional District 2. Call these people if they are Republicans and they run on uh, the uh, campaign strategy of limited government and conservative values, they need to be held accountable. The Democrats are a lost cause at this point, but the Republicans, let them hear your voice. Jack, let's shut this thing down the right way. Guys, the last video was Ted Cruz. Go listen to him if you haven't heard him. In his own words, he's very eloquent, but we'll, uh, we'll leave that up to you. We'll probably post that on Facebook. So, let's go really quick through the calendar, and I want to get done on time here. Um, Jack, I hear there is an event on October 10th. We have an exciting event coming up uh, at the Mermaid. If you haven't been there, please get there. Um, we're featuring Michelle Benson, our own, our own uh, SD31 senator. Uh, we also have Phil Crinky coming in to tell us his position in running for uh, con Congressional District 6. And then we have Ted Lilly. Anybody here remember Ted Lilly? Guess where he's moving to? Taxpayers League. Taxpayers League. I'm excited to hear that message. We got a great, great uh, program for you. Be there. Come early, please. Come early because uh, it seems to get packed more each time. We have the Lone Oak Tea Party in Egan on October 15th, the Southeast Metro in Hastings on the 17th, South South Metro down in Bogarts on and, the 22nd, and, and West. West Metro Tea Party on the 24th, and that's over in Plymouth. Okay, one last. Where's the one in Hastings? The one in Hastings, point. the point. That's point. that's like right by Prescott and Hastings and Cash Grove, like the kitty corner. It's the one with the big elk in it. Love that place. Okay, if you forgot, there is a bonfire tomorrow night at Craig the Sign Guy's house. Rain it's off. What's that? Rain or shine? Rain or shine. That's correct. I 
heard he's got a a uh, shed over there with poker tables, so who knows what ends up happening if it's pouring rain. <laughs> but there's free beer, there is free snacks, and there's nothing more fun in the fall, in my opinion, than a bonfire other than hunting. But other than that, I love it. 7 p.m., you can show up maybe slightly early or just slightly after that, otherwise we're cutting you off at the Dragon. Come out there, it's a, it's a big, it's probably it's like about four acres, and it's kind of a winding yard, but you know you're going in the right driveway if there's a dragon there. You have to see that dragon. Now, oh, yeah. yeah. Somebody left with us free constitutions. If you don't have one, currently grab it, they're on the table. Also get the t-shirt, get the pin, get the button, uh, and sign up for the Minnesota Tea Party Alliance. All right, well, we need to thank some people here for the evening. Our organizers, Minnesota Hockey Mama, Nick Karen, Gary and Susan, Craig, Gary Hookery, Kirk, Dave Bennard, Jack, and I, I'm not going to thank myself. The Minnesota Tea Party Alliance are sponsoring thank the you, event Jack. tonight. Yes, thank you. And we'd be remiss if we didn't thank Senator Harry Reid, President Barack Obama, John Boehner, and Governor Crazy Eyes Mark Dayton for giving us a reason to organize. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Hope to see you on November 7th. Thank you. Much. See you Thursday. Next week.